Greetings and salutations. Grace unto you and peace from God our Father and the Lord Jesus Christ. This is Wesley Webb, pastor of the Grace Baptist Church in Greater Downtown Metropolitan, Macby, South Carolina, and welcome to the Higher Grounds podcast and today's morning minute meditation. I'm interested today in Genesis chapter 3, verses 1 through 6, where the Bible said, Now the serpent was more subtle than any beast of the field which the Lord God had made. And he said unto the woman, Yea, hath God said, Ye shall not eat of every tree of the garden? And the woman said unto the serpent, We may eat of the fruit of the trees of the garden, but of the fruit of the tree which is in the midst of the garden, God hath said, Ye shall not eat of it, neither shall ye touch it, lest ye die. And the serpent said unto the woman, Ye shall not surely die, for God doth know that in the day ye eat thereof, that your eyes shall be opened, and ye shall be as gods, knowing good and evil. And when the woman saw that the tree was good for food, and that it was pleasant to the eyes, and a tree to be desired to make one wise, she took of the fruit thereof, and did eat, and gave also to her husband uh, with her, and he did eat. Now, it may be argued, but I believe that with that subtle serpent, Satan, when he approached Eve, he waited until Adam was not immediately and presently around. He waited until she was alone. She probably wasn't alone for long, but I believe she was alone. He tempted her in all three of the basic areas of temptation. He tempted her in her appetite or her desire to enjoy. That is the lust of the flesh. In verse number six, the woman saw the tree was good for food. Satan appeals to the lust of the flesh with the idea of eating the fruit and how good it would surely be. Something for us to learn right here is that the lust of the flesh is not always sexual in nature. He appealed to her avarice or the desire to obtain the lust of the eyes. The woman saw the tree was good for food and that it was pleasant to the eyes. He moves from the idea of eating the fruit to the item before her very eyes. And then he appealed to her ambition, the desire to accomplish, which is the pride of life. In verses 5, or in verse 5, there's the phrases, your eyes shall be opened. You shall be as gods, knowing good and evil. Satan is just bombarding her mind with words designed to appeal to her ambition, that is, the desire to accomplish. Verse 6, when she saw the tree was desired to make one wise. So I share all of that with you, but I want to go back to that very first thought where Satan waited until she was alone to tempt her. It's interesting to me that in the very first mention of temptation occurring in our Bible, Satan uses isolation as part of the temptation. Now I know every now and then we all need some alone time, me time as it's often called but we would do well to limit our alone time, or at the very least, be aware that when we are alone, we are squarely in the devil's crosshairs. It's the isolation of temptation. Well, that's all for today's Morning Minute Meditation. Y'all have a great day, and remember, it is what it is.